What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters and the future top 1%. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice, but hot Venice Island, another gorgeous day down at the beach. The heat index, believe it or not, was 114. I'm going to put the F in fun in this episode, so buckle up. I had a lot of fun this morning. So yeah, uh, the unstoppable, the title of this episode is the unstoppable bullet train we know called as Ripple XRP in the XRP Ledger. Oddly enough, kind of like the little Ripple logo. There's three right in there. Ripple XRP and XRP logo. Charts are screaming. Show me the news. And show me the money, don't you know? So I'm actually saying XRP is kind of like saying, take me to bed or lose me forever. And I say, show me the way home, honey. Name that movie down below. God, it's such a great movie. And so is the remake, if you haven't seen it. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I suggest from this point on, I do have a bit of financial advice for you guys. I need to suggest that each and every one of you get a bucket of cold water, ice cold bucket of water, get it close nearby you, put it beside you. And the reason why is because number one, any day we could get an announcement of settlement. Number two, then you will see God's green candle appearing. And number three, you will check the value, check the value of your portfolio. And number four, have a friend ready to throw that bucket of ice cold water on you to revive you. <laughs> the quote of the day comes from Jeremy Hogan. Just to let this sink in, XRP is a digital, he's quoting the judge. He's saying XRP is a digital commodity because why? Trial judge said so, and that's a fact, Jack. Just let that fud just roll off of you like water on a duck's back, okay? Uh, thank you, by the way, uh, for all the subs. The comments are, I love the comments every night. Best part of my day is sit down and read the comments. One of the very best parts. And all the love for the like button. So let's see if we can't get this video over, over a thousand likes. So if indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it. What are you feeling for a Friday? Happy weekend, everybody. And you can follow me down below on Twitter at XRP007. And by the way, it dawned on me this morning, uh, you know, you get kind of tied up. It's a lot of fun when you see a video that goes viral. I think my top video is about 20,000 views. And it's fun that once you start to sustain a level, I sustain about 5K. I like to kind of sustain 10K. And then also on this route to 100K subs. But then I realized, I said, I don't care. Um, I would rather produce a video that I'm happy with, makes me smile, hopefully makes you guys smile and that you find entertaining. And if the rest happens, that's great. But anyway, so uh, that's that's the videos that I like doing best. I'm gonna stick and stay true to it. In the comments, by the way, I got a lot. I gotta go over these. These are so fantastic. Uh, LaFleur uh, provides us with a little T and A. He says, 63 cents for XRP will be the floor. Next stop. Say hello to 90 cents to a dollar 19, loving that. And then wait for it, say hello to all time high. And then in my uh, list, I like to say after that, that beautiful thing called price discovery. Oh, it's going to be epic. And Amber uh, chimed in, said, love this channel, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. And kisses left and right. Thank you so much. I'll take them. And then crazy ass mama <laughs> says that she's going to steal my uh, quote about being frugally extravagant. Uh, yeah, and here's the bonus to that, you know, is that in my humble opinion, uh, being frugally extravagant means that you get to have your cake and eat it too down by the beach, just saying. And also, this comment will hands down go, hands down go in one of my all-time favorite comments. This, this is priceless. You guys will love it too. Vintage Pennies, he chimes in, he says, I asked my wife where her like button was, and she said, don't even think about it. Oh, I love that one. And then also, uh, talking about Jim and I relisting XRP, uh, dare I say, did they do an upskirt teaser? Uh, say it ain't so. Looks like like they did. XRP last night in a glitch uh, said hello to $50. A $50 XRP. I'm going to need to buy a bigger boat. Absolutely with that. And then, you know what's fun to see for me? Uh, the very first note card I wrote. That's always kind of fun to me to see which one I'm going to script first after I kind of take all this content in all over from Twitter, YouTube, and other various news sources. That first note card this morning, I didn't get started till this morning, came from Brad Kimes over at it digital perspectives he cracked me up so much because in the news he was talking about back in january of 2021 citibank said that they extend their partnership with ripple powered uh, ripple powered volante's bull pay 
okay? Extends partnership with Ripple Powered Volantes Volpe. They are partners. And then he says, you know, um, that there were, uh, fast forward to today up on uh, uh, YouTube, 801 on Twitter said that uh, the benefits of FedNow uh, are obvious, you know, that they're going to be using Ripple and so forth. And then Brad just chimes in. He says, all these fudsters saying, but where does it say XRP or Ripple? He says, go jump in a lake somewhere. Give me a break. Use this space in between the ears and draw a couple of conclusions. It does not take a rocket scientist, my friend. I agree 100% with that. And this is absolutely huge, huge, huge news. Just when you think you can't get more news every single day, it is just adding up. And I tell you, the one thing that's going to move the needle, I think, that we're waiting for is indeed that settlement. You know, we can have all these news announcements and stuff, and they are huge, make no doubt about it. But the thing that's really going to move that needle far well north in God's Green Canal will be that settlement announcement. Let's hope that we get it. Let's hope that we get it really uh, soon, because I think that's what we need to really kind of push up to the next level. But huge China partners with, wait for it, BIS to bypass SWIFT. All roads lead back, lead back to Ripple and XRP, my friends. And yesterday, all over in the news was Ripple and BIS. I didn't mention it. Everybody else was covering it, and I figured I didn't have any need to kind of go down that path. But I do today because it's relevant, according to today's news that I just told you. is that uh, happens at Ripple and BIS. Ripple is the only, and XRP, this makes XRP the only crypto, is that Ripple was appointed to their uh, task force over at BIS for August of 2023. Um, that is really, again, doesn't take long to connect the, the, dot, the, the dots on that one. Uh, the only crypto, and this is where it gets really fun. You know, you realize that BIS, um, they're not dating around. They're not looking at other things like Cardano or Ethereum or Bitcoin, take your pick, blah, blah, blah. No, uh, they've, they've chosen one and that's called XRP in the words of Beyonce sign. They liked it and they put a ring on it. Uh, XRP um, and Ripple, you forgot one. And this is what I was thinking about this. Uh, can anyone in this channel name me one predominant player in this space that Ripple does not have an alliance or a connection with at all? You really can't. You get really hard pressed to name that. And I'm talking about the likes of Citibank, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Fed Now, the river runs deep. Way too is too deep to do in the short order in this video, so we're going to try to stay underneath 15 minutes. Uh, Rob's daily TNA, we're talking about mine. I'm going to talk about this. This is for my second TNA for the day. Uh, is it goes so anyway? Um, um, XRP is getting geared up for that next push up. Real easy for me, it's just to kind of just glance at the one day charts like the ebbing flow of the tides. It's beautiful, you can look at it and go. Yep, I should be kind of like a uh, good, good place to be buying in. And one of these kind of places, like right now, is a beautiful place to be buying in if you haven't bought. And then also what I'm waiting for, there's also just this perfect little area on the RSI on the daily. That is if it starts to get around 40 down to 35. It's beautiful. 35 is going to be about the low. So we're kind of right around that 40. So good, good area to kind of be hopping in. So now we're going to talk about once again, I'm going to hammer this over and over and over again, be like a broken record for get you guys pumped up talking about uh, wave three, wave five, uh, bull runs, so forth. And then a lot of people I always get this in every single comment. <laughs> at, at somewhere, at least one comment in the section, I'll get, I'll get some very colorful comments about my price predictions and other stuff like that. Uh, is it hope, hopium? Uh uh. It's happened dumb. Happened dumb. <laughs> That is, it happened in 2017, it happened in 2018, it happened in 2021. 2021 is when XRP was underneath a lawsuit uh, from SEC, so I don't put as much a weighted value on that, but it's still a chart that we can look at it. So, once again, wave three, uh, just things to bear in, mind, uh, bear in mind, this was a thing of beauty. XRP went from back in 2017, 0.006 uh, uh, of a, a penny, about half a penny, uh, 0.006 to... 25 cents. Unbelievable. It did a 40X. 40X will use just a simple round number of 60 to put you at a $24 XRP in wave three. Gotta love that. Let's just stick that one right up there on the dash. 
<laughs> now wave five, 2018, this was six months later. XRP went from 25 cents, and we're gonna take the top end of this, $3.84, it was actually $3.94 on live coin watch. And that took, guess how long that took to take, uh, to play out? About 30 days, 30 days, my friend. It took from December 5th to about January 4th, right at 30 days to do what? An 8X, an 8X from $24. Do the math, you're well, well, well up there. What is that? I'm putting you close to 200 bucks right in around there off the top of my head. Okay, now, so I'm always kind of shifting stuff because everything's also played in the global worldwide economy here. So I talked about yesterday. It's like when I dropped that uh, date for us to be at the top of this wave three is the end of October. And then also looking today as I started my morning and everything looking at it. So it also is very likely it could happen still in the end of August as well as the end of September. And you can make an argument for that because uh, one of them is that, you know, October, we could be looking at possibly a big financial crash, a crash around the globe starting, starting with China moving over to Western Europe. Uh, over to Europe and then come over here to the United States so we could start to see that so you can kind of make sense that we if we're gonna have a bull run get that out of the way before this October crash starts to come into play you guys can check out economic ninja there's a video I haven't finished watching but it kind of goes into it with China and some of their debt defaulting on some of their commercial debt and how that's going to affect us here in the US can take a look at that also as well as uh, uh, JT warrior JV coach JV uh, he's got a, a heart to heart video I just started I'm going to watch it, and if I pick up some stuff from it, I'm going to share it with you guys tomorrow. So that is that. Uh, end of August, end of September, to have a 7 to $27, that would be absolutely epic and beautiful. What a great way to start the season coming up. I got uh, 11K to 14K. Oh, yeah, just to let you guys know, when it comes to Fed now, they are going to be ramping up. You know, we started with a whopping 50 to 100 plus partners when that first launched, and that now uh, the unramping will begin and expect to have 11,000 to 14,000 active partners on Fed now anywhere between the end of this month and the end of September. Let's see what that does to the price of XRP. Uh, into the looking glass here, uh, on the last little thing we kind of show off. So uh, we're looking at a seven to $27 XRP, perhaps by the end of September. I actually kind of putting a little more weight in that than the end of October. Uh, at, you know, again, charts don't lie. This is just if history repeats, it, uh, repeats itself, that is what we could be looking at. That absolutely is just stunning that that happens. And I got to tell you, how many other people agree with me? I was uh, kind of commiserating and says, you know what? Uh, for such a long time, especially especially the people who've been in this space for like six years, like Alex Cobb and Brad Kimes and BC Backer, but for me about three years, you always feel like, I feel like I'm on the one foot goal line. I'm on the one foot uh, line, 12 inches from the end zone. And then the next thing I know, about the score, next thing I know, we're back out on the 20 yard line. Get up to the one foot line, back out on the 20 yard line, <laughs> back on the one foot line, back on it, and it just like rinse and repeat. So anyway, we are close, just hang in there, it's gonna happen. And then the last little bit of word of wisdom, is I'm gonna tell you what holding XRP is much akin to an American Express, speaking of a Ripple partner, an American Express slogan from a while back, and this will happen to each and every one of you, that with XRP, uh, you'll be able to live a life of endless possibilities. That'll do it for me, everybody. Everybody have a great day. See you in the next video. Peace out.